So I've been in the industry long enough to know what works and what doesn't work with clients. And so I want to take the opportunity to go over in this video some of the reasons why a lot of guys tend to fail with their uh, their dating life still after they've worked with a coach. So if you are someone who is thinking about working with a coach, then certainly heed my words with this before you do go and work with them because it's not about just working with a coach, it's about working with the right coach that's gonna be suitable for you. And the right coach will make all of the difference as you'll see as I go through this list of uh, big problems that a lot of guys tend to face. So the first one here is that most men, when they've worked with a dating coach, that they think it's gonna be a quick fix. So for whatever reason, um, before the guy has gone to a coach, they're not happy with their date in life. And this can be like whatever levels, maybe they uh, have got a date in life, but they're just not getting the results that they want for it. Maybe they've come out of a relationship or a divorce or something. And, you know, maybe they've been in that for so long that they they just don't know how to date. So they are literally starting from scratch again and going to a dating coach is gonna be the thing that uh, kind of jump starts that career in uh, in dating again. Now, whichever one of them uh, essentially is uh, the one that you resonate with, um, you've got to put the effort into dating. Um, unfortunately, there is no magic wand that, you know, you wake up one morning after you've worked with a coach and hey presto, you've now got women uh, messaging you on WhatsApp just completely out of nowhere and uh, you're just like, brilliant, I don't have to do anything, I can literally just chat, book the date and off you go. Uh, unfortunately, there's no law of attraction uh, stuff that works here. Um, you actually have to put in some hard work and graft to maintain any skill that you have learned and developed uh, to maintain having any kind of dating life uh, or dates overall. So if and when you have worked with a coach, you have to consider what can I do to carry on meeting people afterwards? What can I be doing to keep applying all of the skills that I've learned from a coach into my normal everyday life so I can have this dating life that I always want? or I can be dating the women that I've always wanted. Um, it's down to responsibility, okay, and uh, and taking action, which guys don't tend to do. They do tend to get just uh, a little bit lazy, I suppose, uh, or maybe not lazy, because uh, that is gonna be a point that I will cover in a little bit, but they, um, they do just think it's like the magic pill, that as soon as they've uh, had the experience of working with a coach, it's just going to, this new level of confidence is going to stay. Now, if you end up just sitting indoors and doing absolutely nothing, then you're going to end up losing that confidence. It's just going to end up going down and down and down, and then you're going to be back to exactly where you were. It's a bit like if you um, are going to the gym and, uh, or you haven't been to the gym in a while, you're not going to be able to lift those uh, really heavy weights. You have to kind of like start lower and then you have to build it up incrementally but you know if you go in then to the gym regularly you can maintain that heavy weight and hell you could probably even then lift even higher than what you were doing before so if you're going to commit to going to a dating coach you have to remember that it is not going to be a magic pill after you have worked with a coach you need to be going out and you need to be proactive with either doing your approaching or going on the apps and arranging your dates or finding ways that you can be constantly having conversations with people to keep that momentum up and high. Uh, if you don't, it will stagnate and it will drop. Now, does that mean then that you have to do something every single day? No, no. It's about putting it into your routine per week. Even if it's like one day a week or two days a week, that is gonna be absolutely better than not having anything in at all and just going back to your routine prior to working with a coach. So that then leads me on to the second thing, which is where then uh, guys think that sometimes by going to the more expensive coach that that is gonna make all the difference for them that by 
being charged even more money, that's going to get them even better results. But sometimes that might be the case, sometimes it's not. But then I have also seen guys who, what I would dub as the shoppers, where just because a coach can tend to undermine another coach's services, uh, they might be like five pound cheaper, let's say. I've seen and uh, watched a lot of individuals then go to uh, the coach who was just marginally cheaper. And um, in the end, they got a terrible experience and then they weren't able to get their money back. And then they had to go and work with another coach who actually much was much more appropriate for them to work with. So what I want you to consider, if you are thinking about, you know, looking for a coach, you need to go to a coach who you resonate with, that has the personality type that maybe perhaps you have, or certainly is someone who you know is going to put that dedication into bringing out that much more a uh, confident version of yourself. Uh, I was going to say altruistic, but it's not necessarily altruistic. It's certainly this sort of like higher leveled version of you. Um, and that can happen by, yeah, working with the right kind of coach. Now, does that mean then that you should be spending a crazy amount of money on a coach? Um, no, I, I personally believe that in the field of like the dating industry, there is only there is certainly like a plateau or a ceiling of a price that really guys should be paying if they're you know going out on the street and doing street approaching um simply because you know uh and if a coach let's say isn't you know using headphones to listen to you which there have been coaches in the past that you know you could be paying them thousands of pounds and then you go on the street with them and all they do is they like point and say yeah go and talk to that girl and they don't listen to your conversation and then you come back to them and they say, oh, how did it go? You kind of tell a bit of a white lie because you don't, uh, maybe you don't want to be judged or your ego kind of gets in the way, which I have certainly seen. Um, that then the coach just sort of says like, yeah, okay, cool. All right, now go and talk to that one. And you're not getting the right kind of feedback. So you need to, um, you need to make sure that, yeah, you're going to the right kind of coach and you are vetting them. Um, you need to be making sure that uh, these coaches um, are going to be using the right tools to coach you. Um, I personally believe like the old fashioned day game uh, blueprint model is now outdated. Um, I don't I think as a crutch for maybe beginners, it's it's sort of good. But the problem is, is that then I've seen guys rely on this model that they then use the exact same lines and routines that were taught to them from their coaches. And they're not really bringing out their personality. You need to be able to develop your conversation skills and how you flirt in particularly. Bring out that version of you that women are going to be attracted to rather than being this copy and paste cut out of uh, the coach that you've worked with. So if you are looking to go to a coach, you need to consider more so the aspects of does the coach have the personality that suits you do they have a coaching style that works with you um, is there plenty of proof online of how they work with their clients and I mean more recent content don't get me wrong um, you can have videos that are a couple of years old of transformations but I do believe a coach has to constantly prove to their audience and to their viewers that they still have the skills and still have the talent to do what it takes to get you the results that you deserve, especially in dating. Um, the next thing as well. Uh, so yeah, if you're, if you're going to, uh, so yeah, just finishing up with that, that yeah, if you're going to be going to a coach, don't worry too much about the money. Um, it's really about making sure that you're going to be working with the right coach for you and you have asked the right questions and stuff, because if you're forking over, a good amount of money then you know you want to know that it's a good investment in yourself rather than you potentially being taken advantage of um but that also does mean like don't just go to the coach who's like oh yeah i'm 10 pounds an hour rather than the one who might be like 50 60 pound an hour but they have got the experience and the knowledge with uh with doing it so yeah, there's also an element of don't be a cheapskate and uh, just make sure though that you are going to someone who is the right fit for you. 
Um, the next one that I certainly noticed, which is kind of one of the reasons why I trained as a life coach, is that there doesn't tend to be any aftercare um, with um, when guys have actually gone to a coach and that the, uh, the guys as well then don't have any accountability to hold them responsible with going out and carrying on uh, with this, uh, maintaining this same level uh, of, um, of skill that they've developed. So most, uh, so certainly over the years, I mean, I have seen a lot of guys, they've gone to a coach and they do struggle then afterwards because they haven't got someone to, uh, to push them into the interactions. So it's not so much then having the coach that's there physically to be able to say, right, you have to talk to this girl and stuff. It's about the fact that they haven't got someone holding them accountable for their actions to give them that motivation or encouragement to carry on and, and talking to people. Uh, again, it's very easy to fall back into the same routine that you had before, um, especially if maybe you've got um, a very busy kind of like lifestyle. If you know work keeps you busy all the time and then in your spare free time, you know, you're only going to maybe the gym and then you're going home. Um, if you haven't got someone holding you accountable to say, right, you have to be going out, no excuses, right? When are you free? What days and times can you book? I want you to just at least do this many approaches this week. Don't worry about the numbers, but you have to try and do this and this, or I want you to be attending a social event. I want you to find something that you're going to enjoy doing, and I want you to be sociable. You know, these are important things that, you know, you, if you can't trust yourself with, then you have to have someone else holding you accountable. Now, an easy option would certainly be to um, go to a coach. Uh, so I'll, I'll certainly plug myself here. Someone like me who has got the experience in the dating industry and certainly being able to give a lot of guys advice and accountability um, for taking action and being responsible with um, maintaining what they've learned then absolutely I am uh, going to be at the forefront, hopefully, of being able to help you with that. But even on a much cheaper scale, having a community of other guys that you can be spending time with who can all motivate and encourage each other with, you know, uh, with going out and, and meeting people or going on dates uh, or meeting girls, um, then, you know, that's going to be your alternative option you know, going out with even friends or certainly there are dating communities where you can meet other like-minded men who are also quite anxious or maybe have also uh, worked with a coach and they don't want to lose what they've learned. So you've got plenty of options there, but you, if, if you can't be trusted to carry on and do things on your own, then you need someone else to be holding you accountable. So just as a recap, um, first of all, guys think that um, working with a coach is going to be a quick fix, which it's not. Um, there's no magic pill with this. And I can honestly say after being in Darren Brown's uh, placebo experiment, um, there's certainly no uh, magic pill that's just going to help solve all of your, uh, your problems. You have to be um, certainly more proactive with it. Um, that guys have this uh, shopper mentality and they also tend to work with the wrong coach. Um, you need to be vetting the coach that you want to be working with. I'll probably do a video on it, but also don't just go for the cheapest option. You need to be looking for a coach that is going to be right for you. And even if that means spending a little bit more money, at the end of the day, that is an investment for you, uh, especially if you know that you're going to be in safe hands or you're going to be in hands that are going to guide you in the right kind of way. Um, there tends to not be any aftercare for these guys and there's no accountability. So they haven't got uh, the fact that they are then on their own having to go out and approach or meet people on their own tends to be quite daunting. So, you know, if you need someone to hold you accountable and to make sure and check in with you that you are being very persistent with your approaching or persistent with meeting women, then, you know, either forming or being part of a uh, dating community or other communities where, you know, guys also want to work on their confidence or certainly working with a life coach. 
um, then that's going to be an option too. And, uh, and lastly, that, yeah, guys just get lazy and they don't take responsibility for their actions. Um, you have to be the one to put yourself out there. People aren't going to do it for you. If you want the results, it's got to be down to you. So I know this is probably a bit of a long video um, and maybe a little bit ranty too, but I really hope though that you do get a lot out of this, um, that it did help you. Uh, I'd actually, I'd love to kind of hear your thoughts on this. Like, are you someone who maybe fits into any of these particular criterias or what was your experience like with working with a dating coach and did you get the results that you uh, that you wanted? And if you didn't, why was that the case? Um, so I'd love to hear from you. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel where you will stay up to date on all things to help you with your anxiety, build confidence, remove those negative memories, or certainly get rid of any limiting or negative beliefs that you've got about yourself as well. And uh, stay tuned for more content that I know is going to really help you out.